Okay, next up, LinkedIn profile. Uh, if you want to keep it simple, stupid, you take everything from your resume and you just transfer it over to LinkedIn. All right, so if you, uh, if you actually create that, create your LinkedIn profile and connect to me. Um, I know a couple of you had wondered about um, how to go about doing that. You can search for just Samuel J, S-A-N-U-E-L, last name J-A-Y. I should come up somewhere there. Reach out to me. You can look at my profile. So if you look at my profile, um, I guess first off, if you want to, uh, actually, no, it's not. It's a new profile ad. Okay, there we go. Um, has some posts that I've, that I've put up. Skim right down to summary. Okay. So the summary, what you have there, all right, on LinkedIn, you can take exactly what you had from your resume. Totally fine. But uh, if you're seriously trying to, to get out there on the job market, I think uh, LinkedIn is a good way to kind of expand upon or embellish that summary, right? You can write a little longer. You're not trying to squeeze anything into one page. If there's more that you want to tell than your resume allows you to, LinkedIn is a really good place to do that. All right, I've talked to some professionals, uh, some headhunters who uh, have basically said, right, they'll look at the, if they get a resume first, the resume will kind of lead them towards the LinkedIn profile. And um, a lot of times, right, you just, they just look at your LinkedIn profile anyhow. And so that's the benefit of it as well. If somebody Googles your name, uh, you'd rather have them finding your LinkedIn profile first instead of your Facebook profile or things like this. And so we can just, you know, this will be relatively brief, I think. Uh, you can skim down my, my um, profile here, okay? Uh, what LinkedIn allows you to do is you can upload some documents. So uh, as you can see here, I've uploaded my CV, which is just kind of an expanded resume for uh, you know, academics. It's big. Uh, I would recommend putting your resume up there if you're comfortable with it, right? Where it allows you to kind of update or upload some documents. Um, then you'll see, you'll go down to the experience. Um, and all these things, these different sections, you can move them around as you're editing, right? Keep the summary first. And then the experience second, but the stuff that goes below that, it's kind of up to you. Um, your education, you can throw up there somewhere as well. Maybe, uh, I guess personally, I would recommend summary, experience, education. And then as we skim down here, or scan down, you'll find some, some different things that you can include. Okay, so uh, experience. Um, so what I did is, uh, rather than just having the bullet points that are on my resume, I use this as an opportunity to, to write things out as a narrative, all right, to kind of be a little bit more creative. Again, you don't have to, you can just copy and paste your, uh, your, your bullet points, but if you want to write things out, you know, in complete sentences, and you want to be a little bit more creative, go for it. Uh, make sure when, when possible, <clears throat> as you put in the information for your positions, for your jobs, that uh, it, you know, it links perhaps to uh, your company already has a LinkedIn page or uh, your, your restaurant already has a LinkedIn page. There's, there's a lot of stuff on LinkedIn. So there's a, there's a really good chance most of you are going to find your employers on there or your school on there, uh, any of these things. Okay. Uh, you can keep skimming down. Um, you know, I talked about the company I own and then some previous work experience, uh, I decided to keep things kind of short when I got to the instructor positions that I had before Metro, uh, simply because, you know, I'm an assistant professor now, and so those previous jobs don't necessarily matter as much for me. Now, that may not be the case for you. You may have previous jobs that really, really matter, especially for the job that you might find yourself applying for or the kind of profile you want the public to see. So keep scanning down. I would say that, you know, any of those... Be, be, um, if there are organizations that you're a part of, you know, Lambda Pi Eta, you know, find those on there. Okay. Uh, important courses that you've taken. I do recommend that you that you fill these out. And so I would ask yourself, what jobs am I looking for or do I see myself getting? And then think about all the courses you've taken that would apply to that. So obviously, you know, if you are um, looking for a strategic communications position, right, then you know, a class like business professional speaking would be really helpful. However, if you're looking for that strategic communications position, um, you know, the PE class, the racquetball class that you took would not be as valuable. So you don't need to include that. Skills, uh, a good place uh, to go through. Think about all the skills that you have. You can go back to your resume and look at your core knowledge or your core skills. Uh, I provided some examples of that in the handout. Uh, your education, you know, uh, tell us what your major is. 
where you got it. Uh, personal information, totally up to you whether or not you want it on there. Um, that's basically kind of the core stuff that you need for a LinkedIn profile. Now there's one more thing that I want to kind of go over that is important. Okay, so what you should do here, right, go up to the top right, click on your, your photo there. Oh, that reminds me, you do need to have a photo. Uh, a professional photo in the sense that it's, you know, it's a it's a face shot, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be like mine. Mine's obviously old. I look much older now. Uh, I'm tired. Anyhow, um, something like that, right, where people can tie the face to the resume. That's not, you know, perhaps, <laughs> it's just, if you don't have a picture on there, uh, people are going to wonder. Okay, so do try to have that picture on there. So far, the folks who have connected with me, um, no issues yet. So go up to your picture there, top right. I'm going to go down to Privacy and Settings and click Manage. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you, can, you can go through and kind of change all of, all of the stuff that you would like to change here. Uh, the privacy is is the really the one thing I would pay attention to. Uh, click on your edit your your public profile. That will allow you to see what the public sees. Okay, that means the people that are not your connections. Your connections will see something different. But the public, right? When they search your name in Google, what have you, and they find it on LinkedIn without being your connection, right? Without inviting to connect, that's what they'll see. Okay? So make sure everything looks looks good there, and you can kind of mess around with that. Uh, same thing with who can see your connections. Um, go to pro. Then I, I recommend profile viewing options. Okay, go down there. What that is is um, basically when you look at somebody else's profile, you can dictate what what you want them to see. Um, so um, I have mine selected as they can see everything. Right, they can see my picture when I've looked at their profile. Uh, you can have a, a little bit more uh, anonymous profile, okay? Not to be a, you're not going to do a you know, creep in there or anything on there, but, um, you know, maybe it's just student at Metropolitan State University, that's fine. Or the last one, which is in private mode, you can just be completely anonymous. So you can, you can kind of figure out what you want to do there. Now, I would recommend, um, you know, if you're really using LinkedIn to try to find jobs and try to connect, you know, leave it, leave it. You know that top option, right? Your name and your headline. Let people see a picture. Let them see what you do. It shows them that you're that you're interested, right, in their company or connecting with them or these kinds of things. Um, you know, other stuff. Um, you can kind of just skim through there and change what change what you want. I'm really I'm really just uh, concerned with your profile. So take a look at that. Mess around with that. Uh, have have the LinkedIn profile and the resume done on, on Tuesday. Uh, connect with me on LinkedIn, and I will take a look at your resumes and your LinkedIn profiles, um, and I will be using those to conduct the, uh, the interviews, the phone interviews uh, next week. If you haven't signed up for phone interviews, I sent an email earlier. Uh, it tells you how to do that, so please do check your MSU Denver email. Um, hope this was helpful, and of course, I will answer any questions you have. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you next week.